What's going on guys? Um, so in this video, I just want to real quick cover like a super important topic that I feel is like probably one of the most important things that as an entrepreneur you have to overcome, especially if you don't have any sort of backup plan, especially if you know, you're working full time and then jumping into it uh, like me. You know, I recently just went ahead and I, I left my, my full time W2 job to pursue my uh, digital marketing company and real estate investing full time. Um, and with that, there came some surprises and I want to talk to you guys about it. So what I wanted to talk about specifically was the ability to overcome adversity, right? In life, you know, when you're an entrepreneur and you have entrepreneurial tendencies and you just feel as though you're, you, you have more that you have to give, um, we naturally want to just jump to the next thing, right? We, we naturally just want to go from one thing to the next to the next because we, our minds are all over the place. And what, that ends up, what ends up happening from that is we never truly get to experience the growth in one thing that we want to. So once that finally happens, especially if you're working full time in something else, uh, you know, my opinion is to, to grab onto it and run with it, okay? Um, but let me, let me tell you basically what I experienced by doing that. So I've never fully went off into my entrepreneurial, you know, uh, adventures full time because I was either you know enlisted in the Air Force and uh, with that I never obviously could leave because of my contract so uh, after I got out I still needed security because I have a child I have a wife and I felt as though you know I needed to make sure that obviously they're taken care of and that's 100% something that as a man uh, or as a woman, uh, you know, you have to do, you have to take care of, you know, your family. Um, once I got to the point where I was working my W-2 job and, you know, I was bringing in enough money from my entrepreneurial, you know, businesses, I decided this is my time. I sat down with my supervisor and I decided to jump out. I, I told her like, listen, this is what I'm doing. This is what I want to do. Um, is there a place for me if I ever need to come back? And there is. So um, I'm fortunate in that respect that I have the ability to go back to my other job if I really, really, really had to. Okay, one important thing from that though is if you're going to have that backup plan, you have to be able to be the person that is not going to use that as a crutch. Okay, pretend that's not there. Uh, I like to say the quote, you know, wake up every day like you're at zero. And if you live like that, then you should be able to always you know, wake up with the same amount of, you know, uh, drive and the same amount of inspiration as you had the day before. And it can become really difficult. And that's the biggest thing I want to talk about. So, like I said, I left my job. And today, today is probably, I think, the third day that I've officially not had that job. I keep waking up and I feel lost. Okay? Um, you know, I feel like uh, I have all this time now, you know, and before, before when I had my W-2, you know, I was so used to the grind. I was used to at night, you know, just hustling until two o'clock in the morning and, and just kind of working so hard to get to where I needed to be because what was I trying to get to? I was trying to get to that place where I felt confident enough to leave my W-2 position and now that I've left and I have all this time in front of me, I just don't know what to do with it. So I've had this obstacle and, and that's kind of the intent of my channel is to show you, you know, and trying to relate to you guys in these experiences that I'm, that I'm having um, with both the growth of my, um, you know, digital marketing company and my real estate uh, company as well. And, you know, I find myself repeating the same tasks over and over, never fully completing one and moving on to the next. So... I guess, you know, the biggest thing I want to express th through this video is just if you're going to, 
you know, leave or you're going to try and do your entrepreneurship full time, uh, the biggest thing that I would recommend that I'm trying to figure out and that I'm learning is that, you know, you need to be able to to hold yourself accountable, number one, which, which I obviously did before or my business wouldn't have got where it got. But at the same time, it's almost like a feeling that you can't express. Almost like the feeling of, you know, knowing that you have more to give, right? Um, and I, I, it's, it's hard to explain. It, it truly is hard to put into words, you know, that expression of, uh, you know, what I'm trying to tell you. But in the end, you know, what it boils down to is, is just keep, keep hustling. Time is a subjective thing, okay? Um, a lot of people say, I don't have time. Okay, there's no such thing as time, first of all. I mean, obviously there is time, uh, but there's no such thing as like prioritizing. You know, there's time management. And as someone who's, you know, working uh, on your entrepreneurial, you know, journey full time, you have to be able to prioritize the right things at the right time. Um, so my biggest recommendation is to write everything down that you need to complete. Okay, write down your object, uh, you know, your objectives through the day and work on them. Okay, there's things that I've realized that I've let slide because of other things that I consider a priority um, when really they need to get done. Um, a lot of times the things that we let slide are the things that we really don't truly need to, you know, want to do. Um, and what you have to learn is that it doesn't matter if you want to do it or not. You know, sometimes things just need to get done. Um, and... You know, as entrepreneurs, we love to do the, the tasks, right? We love to be the person that's doing those things. That's why we built a business around that thing. Um, but the business also has to grow, and you have to be able to, to put yourself in the shoes of a business manager sometimes over top of, you know, someone who's actually inside the business. So um, just something I wanted to tell you guys real quick. Um, more to follow soon. So on that note, you know, you always got to work on improving yourself, okay, and, and self-reflect on yourself all the time. You can't just sit around um, thinking that everything is going okay and and then basically, like, ignore solutions, right? It, like, if you feel like there's something wrong, you feel like there's something that you have to improve in yourself, you know, work towards that thing, okay? Like... Like, I recognize that there's things that I need to do throughout the day that I, I, sh I just lapse on, you know, and as, as an entrepreneur, like, these are the things that just happen, okay? These aren't, like, you, you see a lot of times on YouTube, you see, like, the guys with the Lambos and all this other things, and you'll never see me preaching financial, you know, security through getting a Lambo. Like, I will never tell you to go out and buy a Lambo unless, you know... <laughs> Here's a really awesome quote. Like, so I, you know, I live by the water, right? And I, I really like this quote. My buddy told me he he heard from um, one of the guys on the water that owns a yacht, and he, and he works on a boat dock. And this guy with the yacht said, "Hey, man, you want to come out um, and go out on a fishing trip with me?" And my buddy said, oh, "Of course, I want to. You know, how much money do you want?" Um, I'll pitch in towards gas. And the guy's like, "No, no, 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 no. You know, don't don't worry about it." And and my buddy's like, "Well." You know, I feel like, you know, that's that's a lot of money. And this just this man says, you know, you know, if I if I couldn't afford the gas for this boat, then I shouldn't have it. Okay, so, you know, with Lamborghinis and with all these things, you have expenses that come with maintaining it, you have the gas for them, you have all these things, right? Um, so I would never preach, obviously, to go out and to, to get a Lambo. It's not the financial wealth that I think that people should have until they have an asset maybe to compensate for that. Totally different video. Um, biggest thing though is just don't chase shiny objects. Focus on what you need to focus on and improve yourself. Okay? And always do self reflection and trying to become a better entrepreneur. You know, there's your business, okay, but then there's you. And in many fashions, you are your business. Okay, so if, if you're not the best you, your business will never be the best that it can be because you're not able to operate in the way that it needs to. So, you know, some some things about me, you know, I, I should be able to wake up better, you know. Um, but what I do instead of, you know, waking up better is I hustle really hard through the hours that I am awake. Um, I focus on the things that I need to focus on. Um, things slip by, you know. I accidentally let things slide and 
I don't try and harp on those. I don't think about those in a way that, you know, is negative. Because if you start thinking about them in a negative way, then it just eats at you more. Just find a solution to better help yourself you know, be more proactive, okay? You know, put systems in place. Recognize that you are nothing but a machine, okay, with a brain, and just like a robot that's programmed to go, you know, and, and stick a bolt, you know, in a car frame, you know, repeat, repetitively over and over and over, you're no different, and, and you are the habits that you create. So if, if you're waking up, you know, in my case, if I wake up at the same time every single morning, if I stay up until 2 o'clock and my body you know, won't wake up you know, no matter how many alarms I set and how hard I tell myself I need to wake up at this time and it doesn't happen, it's not because I can't do it. It's because I've trained myself to be that way. And breaking habits is one of the hardest things to do um, as any, you know, person with an addict hat, you know, an addiction hat, will tell you. Um, you know, a lot of times the biggest thing like you always hear in these, you know, sit around with each other and, and powwow, you know, type things is, is once you can admit that you have a problem, it's a lot easier to fix it. So put a, put a solution, put a, put a process in place to help you through that. If it's something that keep that's important and you keep dropping a ball on it, maybe you should look into having somebody else take care of that for you because uh, clearly it's just something you don't enjoy doing. And if you don't enjoy doing it, you shouldn't be doing it. You should find something else. Don't create a business uh, because of the wealth or something that might be associated with it. Create a business because it's something that you love to do and you love the outcome of it. Um, so that's about all I have. I don't want to you know, create this huge rant video, but you know, hopefully that helps somebody. Um, if you have any questions about how you can improve yourself, improve the way that you think about things, there's some books I would really recommend reading. Um, the Art of Not Giving a Fuck is one of them. Um, let's see, I have a couple sitting here that I've read. Uh, I don't have my glasses on. Uh, the Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, um, Unfuck Yourself, The Go-Giver series. I mean, I, I could keep recommending books all day. Um, my very first recommendation, though, is just to sit down and write down. You know, I do it on my blackboard all the time. Write down the things you got going on and write down the things that you need to improve and figure out where do you fit where do you fit in this bubble that you call your world, right? Not the whole thing. Who cares what the other entrepreneurs are doing down the street? Figure out your bubble and hustle it and, and turn it into, turn that freaking bubble into a damn rock, okay? Um, that's all I got for you guys. Keep hustling on. Um, if you're still listening to this video after this rant, you know, I'd love to for you to hit the subscribe button, hit that like button if this, you know, if this content has helped you at all and help your mindset. Um, and, and just just learn the mindset of an entrepreneur. It's not like it shows, you know, on the TVs. There is dark times, okay? And there is there is a lot of mental strength that goes into it. Um, and the biggest thing to add to to conquer that is to surround yourself with five people that truly care about you and are also going through the same problems. Throw your thoughts to each other. Comment below and ask me. Um, we'll get on the phone and we'll talk about it. So thanks guys. Talk to you soon.